Shallow-rooted, drought-resistant, and aesthetically pleasing, there are several shrubs and bushes you may utilize to live in up the exterior of your home. American yew, boxwood, and Chinese fringe flower are also wonderful choices. Consider these six varieties of shrubs for the front of your home if you're trying to decide which ones to plant. Number one, Indian Hawthorn. Small and spherical, the Indian Hawthorn is an evergreen shrub known for its leathery leaves, brilliant spring flowers, and dark purple to black fruit that ripens in the winter. They can survive periods of drought and have a modest root profile, making them ideal for use as a ground cover or in a container. Full sun to partial shade is ideal for Indian Hawthorn and do well in climate zones 7 to 11. Number two, Chinese fringe flower. An evergreen shrub with broad leaves can be used as a taller shrub in a corner or in a space between windows. If not pruned frequently, its arching multi-stemmed growth can spread to a width of six to eight feet. From late March to early April, a variety of mildly perfumed white, pink, and red blooms are available. The hardiness zone range for the Chinese fringe flower is seven to nine. Number three, David Viburnum. David Viburnum, or Viburnum davidi, is a small, slow-growing evergreen that stands in contrast to the various deciduous Viburnum varieties. The glossy, dark foliage and the tiny white blooms it bears in the spring give way to tiny, metallic blue fruit that provides seasonal interest all through the year. Viburnum davidi may grow in zones 7 to 9 due to its resilience. Number 4. American Yew Some yew cultivars can reach heights of about 60 feet. However, American yew, also known as Taxus canadensis, rarely gets taller than five feet. It does better in partial shade than full sun, but it can tolerate a wide variety of soil conditions. The hardiness zone range for American yew is from three to seven. Number five, Green Mountain Boxwood. Green Mountain Boxwood is a great option for your yard if you want the look of an upright evergreen, but don't have a lot of room. Boxwoods are impervious to herbivores like deer and rabbits since their entire plant is poisonous. Pruning should be finished by the end of September at the latest, as late shearing leaves fresh cuttings susceptible to drying out throughout the winter. Zones five through eight are ideal for green mountain boxwood. Number six, Glossy Abelia. The Glossy Abelia hybrid shrub ranges in size from medium to large, and its many cultivars all feature distinctive leaf patterns. The extended flowering season and ease of care of Glossy Abelia make it a popular plant for attracting butterflies and hummingbirds. The best climate zones for Glossy Abelia are zones six through nine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.